tell you the strategy of the card. And uh, lastly, uh, the card mechanism and process will be the last issue. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, as you see in the table, in the table, Turkey has uh, a high percentage of agricultural land uh, and arable land compared with the world and the developing countries. Uh, we have three times more arable land and permanent crop. Uh, moreover, uh, the country has one of the longest sunshine in Europe. Uh, for instance, two times longer than the Germany. Uh, and also our land quality is good uh, and young compared with uh, the developed countries since uh, we just started to use fertilizer pesticides just uh, 30 40 years ago only another statistics uh, about human source gives that uh, one to four of course is still in agriculture and leave in rural area of the total population I mean. in this table uh, you see Turkey is uh, one of the prominent supplier in uh, many significant number of products uh, and has highest ranks we have five products as number one and five uh, others as number two uh, and in a few years uh, we expect higher records in tomato, uh, olive, and pomegranate also uh, due to the increase in plantation uh, about in this product. Okay. Uh, in this slide, uh, this permit will get us more close to this strategy for the part I. Uh, as you see, we have 3 million farmers in Turkey, uh, and it's quite a big number. And 70% of the total considered as small, according to their land and capacity. We have uh, 400,000 very, very small farmers that are uh, in subsistence or semi-subsistence level. Uh, this very bottom of the uh, and generally immigrate to cities to get another job. And above that, we have small farmers that have a high demand for working capital loans, I mean operating loans, since they don't have enough capital accumulation. So uh, the biggest part of the uh, pyramid requires Bank finance uh, just Eight, to continue. Seven, two. Is there a problem? So you could hear me clearly? Yes, I'm I... sorry. Sorry, Omer, for the interruption. Someone just joined us, so I apologize for that. Okay, okay, no problem. So I want to continue on what I left. So, yeah, you see, the biggest part of the pyramid requires. Uh, bank and I said non bank finance, maybe just to continue their production in, in agriculture. And uh, majority of the total agricultural output uh, in Turkey is still also produced uh, from this uh, big segment. Therefore, we have to sustain and continue finance facility this segment for working capital needs. But the crucial point is that we have to control the way and method of this finance also. Uh, average required loan limit is not high for small farmers since it's a short-term operating loan. But as you see, the number of farmers is very high. So uh, it's a mass a bulk segment. Uh, another challenge and uh, requirement for the segment is we want to be sure that the bank loan uh, used for agricultural production. Uh, when we give direct cash loans to farmers in a lump at a time within a production year, uh, generally we don't know where do they purchase and use the loan. Uh, and because of these reasons, 
one of the best way to manage the loan risk in this segment is a card. And as you see uh, from the presentation, we have 500,000 uh, medium and big size farmers. Uh, this segment uh, doesn't require, doesn't demand uh, operating loans generally, and uh, demand for uh, they have demand for investment loans, tractors, uh, new lands, new farms, new equipments. Uh, uh, considerably, also they have a lower MPL rate, but we have a higher MPL in small farmers. Yes. Now let's see what we have in our bank uh, as agricultural products. Uh, we have working capital loans uh, and investment loans also for every type of subsegment in agriculture. We have also leasing options, uh, insurance options uh, specific for agriculture. And also we have two special cards. Uh, one of them is the Verimi card. Uh, it's today's topic, you know. Uh, we will get into uh, detail about this card. Uh, the other is the TMO card. It's the uh, card special for Turkish grain board. Uh, and we sell this card to the farmer that want to sell uh, his or her grain to the Turkish uh, grain board. Uh, and then they, then they get their money uh, automatically from to their deposit accounts uh, with through uh, with the help of this card. So it's a uh, debit card, it's not a credit card, I mean a TMO card, but Verimli card is a credit card uh, that has an agricultural loan behind. In the next slide, uh, you see some of our figures in your credit. Uh, the agricultural segment is located under SME group, uh, within the bank, uh, I mean uh, the organization. So let's see the uh, total number of our group. Uh, we have 720,000 uh, customers in SME and agri agriculture group, and uh, of which uh, 336,000 of them has loans, uh, has bank loans. And the total volume is $7.1 billion. Uh, the share of uh, agriculture customers uh, within the group is 21% uh, with 150,000 farmers. Uh, and uh, one to third of this total number has good agricultural loan. Uh, and the total volume is $500 million, uh, which makes a 7% in total. These are the global figures for our bank. Uh, as an organization, we have a dedicated organization for agriculture uh, in the marketing side, sales and underwriting. Uh, also, uh, special uh, supervisors in regions and uh, agricultural relationship managers uh, in branches. Uh, we have a special underwriting system for agricultural loans also, including the wedding card, including the card uh, product. Uh, and we have almost 250 branches segmented as agricultural. So they have also agricultural targets to achieve, uh, loan targets, number of customer targets, uh, and other items. Uh, we do trainings for all agri brands uh, in every year, uh, or specific for a campaign, for example. And uh, as you see uh, two slides before, uh, we have special loan times, types and services for agricultural segments. Uh, in this year, we concentrate on models activating the value chain, uh, I mean the production, industry, and trade of agriculture. Okay, I hear somebody. Yes, uh, Umer, I apologize for that. So we will mute the, the participants. Please, I ask everyone that's online, if you could please mute your microphone, that would be great in your speaker. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you very much for your warning. Uh, now let's keep on the uh, uh, what we have in our slide. First, let me introduce uh, the main uh, specification of this card. Verimli card, uh, it's a card used for only, only... I apologize to the presenter. Uh, yes, uh, I'd like to ask everyone to mute the microphone. Yeah, I see. Okay. Thank you very much for this. Uh, let me continue uh, just from the start of the slide. Uh, the card is uh, used only for purchasing agricultural inputs. This is also a legal rule. So since we have agricultural loan behind the card uh, and calculated the limit according to capacity of the farmer, uh, we use this loan, uh, this uh, production loan, only for agricultural inputs. So uh, you can buy only gasoline, fertilizer, pesticides, seed, seedling, fodder, uh, veterinarian facilities, uh, etc. Uh, uh, the second uh, specification of this card, and also the main rationale and motivation of the farmer to use this card, uh, is that the card offers interest-free periods. Uh, we will get into this detail, uh, how we apply these interest-free periods to farmers. But it's the main rationale uh, for farmer to demand this card. And uh, the second is the maturity is suitable with the harvest period. So if a farmer has one harvest in, uh, in a year, in a production year, uh, he or she pay all of the balance uh, once in a year in the harvest period. Uh, so, uh, this is the main difference of the card uh, according to the other credit cards uh, used by uh, personals, used by uh, other people. Number uh, followed by the pound sign. Okay, the card is, has also the ability uh, for cash withdrawals from uh, automatic teller machines, ATMs, and brands. Uh, we have also a cash limit. Uh, within the card, and throughout to this limit, you can uh, withdraw uh, cash from our ATMs in weekend also. And uh, uh, a very important specification of this card is it's a closed service system. So it means it doesn't operate on other banks, POS and ATMs. Uh, you know, if you have a master or visa logo in in a, on a card. You can use this card uh, throughout the world, whatever you want to buy. So uh, this card cannot be used, uh, for example, in a grocery, on a, on a, in a supermarket. Uh, you can only use this card uh, with an, on, on a Verimli POS. So uh, we have also Verimli POS who uh, use the limit of this card. So it's a closed circuit system. And how the cart operates? Uh, as you see on the diagram, uh, the farmer uh, purchases uh, his or input from the merchant uh, with the help of Verimli POS. Uh, and then uh, the system gets uh, approval, provision from the bank uh, for the loan. Uh, when the bank sends the provision to the merchant, uh, we credit the farmer uh, and let them to buy uh, his input. After that, uh, the bank pays the transaction amount to the merchant. Uh, and we wait for repayment of the farmer uh, at harvest. This is the uh, basic sheet scheme for the card. And let's see uh, how we allocate this card uh, in this flow. 
Uh, as you see, first, uh, the farmer uh, complete an application form and sign the contract for the stock first. Uh, what are the other documents to apply this call is the uh, farmer's registration certificate uh, that is taken from the Ministry of Agriculture. So in Turkey, uh, if you are a farmer, you have to uh, attend to the Ministry and declare what will you produce uh, in every year uh, and get the certificate uh, that has uh, the information about the capacity and the production uh, on it. So we first ask for the farmer's registration certificate in, uh, for the farmer and uh, make them complete and sign the Verimli card application form. Then uh, throughout our underwriting system, uh, the agricultural loan evaluation system, uh, namely ALES, uh, we calculate the limit for this card. Uh, the card has two separate limits. Uh, the first is the shopping limit uh, for input purchase from merchants. The second is the uh, cash limit uh, for cash withdrawal from ATM. When we approve the limits, calculate and approve the limits throughout uh, ALES, uh, by relationship manager in the branch. Uh, the relationship manager uh, scan the forms and contracts of the Verimli card and transfer them to the central operational unit uh, in the headquarters. The central operational unit then uh, checks the limits, the requirements, the contracts, and open the accounts uh, for shopping and cash limits. Then uh, they associate the limits with the card and uh, send the card to the print shop. Then we post the uh, card uh, and password, first password, to the branch uh, to get uh, ready uh, to deliver to the customer. And when the farmer, uh, we, then uh, when the branch calls the farmer, when they get the card uh, and give the card to the farmer. When uh, the farmer use its first password and change it to his own, uh, the card is ready to use. This is the allocation flow of the card. And the, uh, generally, the duration for this uh, allocation is uh, nearly a week. Nearly a week, yeah. I mean, uh, the uh, completion of the form and the contract, defining all the limits, then sending the uh, of the card, sending to the branch again, and uh, giving it to the farmer. All of the this total process uh, generally takes a week. Uh, we plan uh, to make a media campaign about this card uh, in the next month. So we will use national and local uh, TV uh, and also newspaper uh, for this uh, media campaign. We will have also outdoor speedboards and we will send over a million uh, uh, SMS uh, to the farmer holding a mobile phone. Uh, and another uh, very important uh, a marketing uh, side is the uh, merchants of the Vermi Post, Vermi Card. Uh, generally, in Turkey, uh, all of the farmers uh, get familiar with a merchant and uses this merchant uh, through his life uh, and uh, uh, strongly believe what the merchant advises, her, uh, advises or her. So. Uh, the lead, lead, lead from the Verindu POS merchants is very important for us to market this card. We get a lot of leads from merchants also. Okay, let's see how we apply the interest-free pe free period uh, within this card. Uh, as you see on this arrow, uh, we first allocate the card limit 
before the production starts, uh, before the agriculture begins. Uh, then, uh, when the farmer goes to a merchant and wants uh, to in purchase an input, uh, the system controls if, the, if we have a campaign on POS and on that POS. Let's say we have a five month uh, interest free period uh, definition on uh, that uh, specific POS. Uh, in a fertilizer shop, for example. Uh, this transaction, uh, this transaction, when this transaction is occurred, uh, there is no interest rate applied uh, to uh, this amount uh, during these five months. At, and at the end of interest fee period, if the farmer pays the balance, pays uh, his debt to the bank, uh, he, he wouldn't be applied any interest. But if he, if he doesn't pay the interest uh, amount of the transaction, uh, then uh, this amount uh, starts uh, to work with an interest rate. For example, let's say uh, four months to the maturity. Uh, the overall, the maximum uh, maturity in this card is 12 months uh, to assure, uh, to make, to, uh, to be sure of this loan is an operating loan. Also, it's a legal uh, arrangement in Turkey also. We have generally uh, 12 months maximum maturity for operating loans. I hope this is clear to uh, introduce the interest-free period working scheme. Okay, uh, what are the benefits for the card uh, for uh, three parties? Uh, for the farmer, uh, it's an, really a good interest saving method uh, for its input purchases. And also, uh, all of the payment is done in the harvest period. So uh, he doesn't need to make payments uh, during the period. So since he will get his money only on, in the harvest period with its agricultural production. And uh, also the farmer has the ability to uh, withdraw cash uh, in all hours of the day and also in the weekend. For the bank, uh, it's a really a good uh, way to decrease the churn, our churn rate uh, for farmers and increase the retention. Also increase the customer loyalty uh, to the bank. And also, uh, we, with, this, with the help of this card, we really increase our cash flow and transactions from the farmer and the merchant also. Uh, and uh, as I said before, uh, when, I, when I was telling the pyramid, it's a really better risk management for the farmer's risk. And for the merchant, uh, it's a really good way uh, to not to uh, for the problem to collection. Uh, as you know, uh, generally, uh, uh, before the bank, uh, all of the merchants uh, give, the, uh, give the impulse to the farmer within a collateral. So they are really unsecured for their receivables. Uh, but with this card, the risk is over the bank and the merchant doesn't take any risk for collection. We just directly pay the transaction amount to the merchant. And also, uh, they acquire new customers with the help of the card campaigns, especially by the interest-free cam campaigns. And also, uh, merchants increase sales for them, uh, with the campaign, with this card. Because uh, in some way, uh, farmers want uh, to go and buy, purchase uh, inputs uh, just uh, from the merchants have their new POS on. Our car sales started in March. Uh, in this two months period, uh, uh, we sold uh, 4,000 cars. Uh, you see uh, two photos of our farmers. Uh, I think they seem happy to get the car, hopefully. And let's see 
uh, how we uh, acquire merchant and uh, set MPOS to the merchant uh, shop. Uh, just as the same of the card application, uh, first the merchant uh, uh, fills the application form and sign the contract. Uh, for the working conditions, uh, the branch, uh, the relationship manager in the branch has to determine uh, the two uh, conditions first with the merchant. Uh, first is the number of months uh, for interest-free period. Since uh, the funding cost of the interest-free period uh, uh, will be covered by merchant. So we uh, uh, we cover, we get the funding cost of the interest-free period, uh, not, not from the farmer, but from the merchant. So we have to, we have to deter, determine number of months for the campaign first. And the second is its disbursement type. Uh, uh, it's what, when will we, will we pay the transaction amount to the merchant? Uh, will we pay the amount in the following day or we will will we block it in the deposit account of the merchant. When we determine these two conditions and sign the contract, uh, the relationship management uh, manager again uh, scan and send the contracts to the central operation unit. And the central operation unit open uh, an account for merchant and define the POS uh, on this account. Then the field team goes to the merchant shop and establish the POS, and it's ready to use. Let me clarify some of the notifications about risk management. Uh, uh, what we do before the maturity is we send uh, an account statement uh, uh, five times in a year to the farmer just uh, to show him uh, the total balance, the transactions uh, to the farmer. Uh, and also, we print the maturity date and interest starting date uh, on the paper slip uh, on POS uh, to notify him about the interest and also the maturity dates carefully. Uh, what are the controls after maturity is uh, we close the limit at the end of the maturity date and we pay, uh, we, we wait for repayment of the farmer, of the total balance. Uh, until the total debt balance paid, we do not renew the limit and the maturity, uh, we close the limit. Uh, and when the balance not paid, uh, we start to report and monitor this balance as overdue long. And we make a lot of reporting for undue and overdue transactions. Uh, within the bank, to the branch, to the relationship managers, and to all of the monitoring departments of the bank. Uh, yes, this is uh, a picture of our account statement. Uh, sorry that the information on the account statement is in Turkish, uh, but let me show you with the mouse click. Uh, we have number of farmer and the address on the account statement. And uh, on the left side, we have first the total balance, total debt uh, of the farmer for uh, this time being. And we have the total balance uh, created from shopping limits and the total balance, balance in cash limits. Also the limits of cash and shopping. Uh, for example, you see a uh, customer identity number here, and you see the number of branch. Uh, this is the uh, maturity date on the statement, and this is the uh, date of uh, statement printed. So, uh, in the below box, we have all of the transactions uh, made with this card. We have detailed uh, explanations here. I'm getting to the end. Let me uh, give you some information about the pricing. Uh, uh, the interest rate on the card is 2% per month. Uh, but it is zero, as I said before, in the interest-free period. Uh, 
But in the interest-free period, the funding cost is covered with the commission paid by the merchant. Uh, for the cart, uh, so for the farmer, uh, the commission is one person of the total of the transaction amount. So, for example, if you make an 100 Turkish liras uh, transaction from a fertilizer shop, you uh, pay one TL, one Turkish lira, uh, for this transaction. We don't have card fee uh, in this year. Uh, we will do the feasibility, then we will check it on the next year also. What we apply to the merchant, uh, uh, per month we have 1.20% commission uh, from the merchant. Uh, but it's, it occurs if the transaction amount paid to the merchant in the following day. But if the merchant uh, waits for the end of the interest fee period uh, uh, to get his money uh, and remain uh, the money uh, blocked in the deposit account or in, this, uh, in his uh, deposit account, but then by any commission to the merchant also. And we cover the cost uh, between the loan and also and the account, deposit account. Thank you for all. Uh, it's my end of presentation, uh, and I think we can take the questions if you, if they have. Okay, thank you, Omer. I really appreciate um, your very interesting presentation and walking us through the detailed uh, development of the project, uh, the product, the features, the terms and conditions was very insightful. There were many questions that came in throughout your um, presentation. So oh, I'm so, yes, I'm going to um, start off with them. Um, and we're gonna start with the questions that came in from Africa on your clients, small farmers. Um, you have several thousand, 100,000 farmers, potential market that you say in small and medium. Uh, our clients from Africa would like to know first and foremost, how small are your small farmers? Because contexts and markets differ vary from region to region. And also, <clears throat> our yeah. colleague from Uganda would like to know what what are your literacy rates of the farmers that are bankable in that bankable segment? Okay. Uh, first, I have to say the average land size in Turkey is six hectares. So. Uh, when I talk about the small farmers, I mean the farmers that uh, have land below six hectares, actually. Yeah, we have uh, different definitions and different limits to say small for different sub-segments. For example, uh, it is 20 daily calls for uh, daily production. Uh, and it is, for example, uh, 40 uh, leaf stock. For this, but uh, for uh, grain production, it is uh, below six hectares. So uh, this is just uh, the limits for Turkey. Uh, and about the literacy rate, uh, uh, I don't have any uh, specific statistics, but uh, as far as I know, uh, the, yeah, it's uh, clear that the literacy rate is. Uh, uh, below the average in farmers, but it's not below than uh, below uh, than uh, 80 80 percent. So in Turkey, the average literacy rate is 95, but uh, it has to be uh, about 80 percent in uh, farmers. Okay. okay, thank you very much. In in addition to that, um, this is a bit about how your clients that that market that you um that segment of the market that you're really promoting this credit card to to what extent do they have prior experience using uh, other credit cards or is this the first time that many of them have experience using a credit card could you talk a bit about that and to what extent you know what was involved in in your promotional campaign or your advertising campaign um, to to the farmers on if, if they're new entrants in using credit cards, what is sort of the educational 
um, requirements that you needed to ensure that they knew how to use them. Okay. I hope under, I understand the question. Uh, first, uh, let me tell you, when we say a credit card in Turkey, we generally understand the uh, credit card uh, for personal consumption. Uh, and uh, you repay the credit card debt in every month. Uh, so uh, when we talk about credit cards, credit cards is not suitable for farmers since the farmers need to pay its total balance uh, at the harvest period and mostly once in a year. Uh, so uh, uh, in Turkey, we need such agricultural cards uh, strongly uh, since uh, the farmers uh, don't have any card facility uh, other than this. Uh, and the banks uh, generally uh, don't give credit cards to farmers. Uh, the basic requirement for uh, agricultural card is this. So it is the only card uh, you can take as a farmer uh, if you do agriculture production. Uh, since its harvest, its, its maturity, uh, is uh, its repayment type is suitable with your production. Uh, with the dynamics of the agricultural cycle. Uh, and uh, we actually, we will be the third bank in uh, Turkey to uh, announce this card. Uh, we have two other banks, uh, uh, three other banks, sorry, uh, marketing this card. And it really takes a big attention, a big, uh, big uh, campaign. <laughs> of the farmer. So, uh, uh, since we have 3 million farmers in Turkey, uh, it means we have 3 million potential customers for this uh, card. Uh, and it's really a, a big uh, option uh, to buy their agricultural import. I'm not sure my answer is uh, enough to cover your question, Maria, uh, but if you have any Yes, that's, that's, no, that's fine. So it's safe to say that the majority of your clients were used to using a credit card for consumption. So the crossover into this new, with new terms and conditions was not totally new, but there was some training that needed to be education, client education that needed to take place. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you are right. You are very right. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, now, let me just uh, turn the dialogue a bit on to um, uh, continue along this stream, but move into more of the pro product uh, development in the system. I have many questions about the merchants and, and how, um, you know, the, the, the details of the credit card in terms of the interest rates and, and the maturity. Um, the first yeah. question is from our colleague in, in Kenya, um, from the Columbia Global Center for Africa. Um, and they would like to know a bit about, they have to be registered with with the bank for them to sell the farm inputs to the farmers on the credit card. Is that correct? Sorry, could you repeat the, uh, your last sentence? The, 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 our uh, colleague from Kenya would like to, just to, to verify, I think you've mentioned this in your presentation, that you have to be registered with your bank, the merchant, for yeah. them to be able to um, use, you know, for clients to be able to use your credit card with them. That's correct, right? Yeah. Uh, I thought that the farmer, as a farmer. Yeah, I apologize for the uh, static on the line. Hold on for one moment. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, I thought before that as a farmer to get this card, actually to get all of the agricultural loan, you have to uh, submit that you are a farmer. And the way to submit that you are a farmer is to be registered uh, to the agricultural uh, chamber and also the ministry. Uh, this is the requirement for, for the farmer. Uh, on the merchant side, 
the merchants are not farmer, but the traders only. Uh, and they are uh, the potential customers for SME group, not the agricultural group, the SME group. And uh, they have to be registered into the Ministry of Commerce. They are not farmers. Uh, I want to clarify this difference between the farmer and the merchant. I'm not sure if it's enough. Yes, that's that's very clear. Actually, that leads us into a discussion on, on what, if you could speak about the process, uh, the client evaluation and the application. Um, our colleague who works with financial institutions in India from Mercy Corps, they'd like to know what types of information do you require by the farmer on the application for? What is it, how do you, you know, what is the specific information you're looking for? And then our colleague in Kenya would like to follow on is, is how is the credit uh, worthiness of a farmer determined? And that may lead you into a discussion of your ALICE, the, the uh, credit scoring system. If you could spend yeah. a bit of time talking us through the application. Okay. I apologize, there's uh, noise on the line. We will minimize that shortly, but go ahead. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, if you remember the agricultural uh, pyramid uh, in Turkey, we define uh, the very below of the pyramid as the unsustainable farmers. Actually, uh, what we mean in that pyramid is the unsustainable sustainable farmers has a very low production capacity and land to get uh, any amount of agricultural law, including the uh, wearing the cart including the agriculture card. So to get a bank loan, including the card, you have to have a minimum capacity of agricultural production to get a loan. We, uh, in our system, uh, I mean ALES, the Agricultural Loan Evolution System, uh, we uh, write down uh, the agricultural land size and the uh, agricultural product type to the machine. And uh, then we apply a questionnaire to the farmer and uh, get the answer into the machine also. And we get a score with these uh, answers and with this capacity. Uh, all, we have all of the uh, types of credits, uh, loan types in this machine. And uh, this machine uh, calculates the limits and uh, approves uh, the, all of the type of law. So uh, we get the information from the certificate that farmers submit to us uh, that's taken from, from the agriculture ministry. Then we calculate the limit according to the uh, capacity of the farmer. I hope it's clear. Yes, Umar, but I would ask on the the information, how is the information verified? That that information is of the quality um, that you're putting Maybe. into the system? I apologize for the line. We have someone. I'm sorry. Hold on for one moment. Can we minimize the noise on the line? I apologize. We would just like to ask everyone to use their microphones because we have background noise online. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, Uma. Thank okay. you. Please proceed. No problem. Yeah. So, do we have another question, Maria? Yes, I would. Or do you I would want me to the information? How is it verified? Uh, sorry, sorry. Could you repeat? I couldn't hear. No we question. were we were just finishing up. You were explaining on the Alice system and the the certifications um, that you receive from the ministry. In addition to that, what type of uh, interaction do you have with the client? Uh, what do you? Mean? mean by the interaction? Do you, what types of field visits do you do to verify that the information 
on those certificates are valid um, uh -huh. the, with your relationship managers what is the you know what is the flow um the activities that they engage the prospective clients yeah uh actually we trust the certificate of the uh, ministry because uh, ministry do some field visits also uh, but for uh, some specific products we also make field visits to the farmer uh, uh, generally uh, generally in our bank uh, a field one field visit is compulsory to the farmer before we uh, before we pay the law we have to uh, make an field visit uh, before we make the loan use uh, and throughout the year uh, if the relationship manager visits the farmer uh, they fill the uh, visit form uh, of the uh, farmer and uh, put it in the documents uh, but generally we trust on the first of the ministry since they do also uh, they do interact to the farmer also Okay, that's very interesting, the, the role that your ministry uh, plays in helping you um, with the establishing the credit worthiness of your client. Very interesting. I'd love to hear more about that at a later date. Let me move on to, there's some more questions here about um, the, the credit card and how um, the credit limits are set um, by, 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 your, um, by your bank. Um, you mentioned that um, the, the the credit card. Um, can you speak a bit about the loan underwriting of the credit card? Our colleague Roberto from Banamex, Mexico, would like to understand yeah. how those credit limits are set. And then yeah. an add-on question: Is there much differentiation among your clients in ter in, in, ter in the terms and conditions of the credit card, or is, are they very similar in nature? Okay. Uh, actually, behind the card is just a simple uh, working capital loan mm -hmm. uh, that is calculated for the working capital requirement of this farmer uh, for the agricultural production. Uh, our uh, loan system has uh, a lot of data uh, collected from the field. Uh, in each region of the, from each re region of the Turkey, mm -hmm. and for each product, we have the price uh, information, we have the yield, we have the uh, cost to produce uh, one unit of uh, production or one decar of the production. So we have a lot of statistics behind the system, and the system uh, has two formulas uh, within for different two formulas. Uh, one is for the operating loan, I mean the working capital loan, and one is for the investment loans. Uh, and throughout this formula, uh, when we enter the information, uh, what the farmer produced in a specific region, the machine uh, calculates the total revenue of the uh, farmer from that production, uh, then the total cost of uh, the production and uh, the machines start the, uh, the formula uh, and uh, they just uh, and at, at the end the machine gives uh, approves the loan or not or shows uh, how much limit uh, does it uh, offer how much limit does it approve? Mm -hmm. So our machine, uh, maybe we may make a new session for our machine. I mean the agricultural loan evaluation system. Yeah. Uh, if it will be useful. Uh, just uh, use a complex formulas to get the limits for different types of loans. Mm -hmm. okay. But I have to say the data, the statistics uh, within the machine is specific to all of the products and uh, regions, sub-regions of the Turkey. Thank you, Omer. I, I think that, that um, the importance of data collection in, in keeping that 
system, when when uh, Omar is saying machine, he's talking about their their evaluation system, their credit scoring, uh, their client credit scoring system, and it's uh, only as robust as the information that goes into it. And um, as Omar has offered to do a session on this, in fact, they already have done a session, so I. I welcome all of our participants that want to learn the ins and outs of their agricultural lending evaluation system. Uh, you can find his prior um, uh, webinar on the system uh, in our webinar on our, our platform. So please do look at that because it is very interesting. Um, uh, we are testing a similar system with a client in Senegal, in, in the Senegalese market. So. We'll be sharing the lessons from that pilot test, um, trying to develop a similar credit scoring system with a financial cooperative, a large financial cooperative in Senegal. Now, we have a, a few more questions, but I'm very cognizant and aware of the time. We have about um, uh, five, five more minutes. I'd just like to um, acknowledge a comment from one of our participants, and I think it's a very interesting um, comment. The, the, the participant, I'm not, I think they're from India or in Southeast Asia region, and they said it would be very interesting to compare the Kisan agricultural credit cards in India, and he provides uh, the link with the Union Bank pilot card in Pakistan that's been going on. And that I just wanted to wow. thank Javier from the Abercorn Frontier. Um, and that's something perhaps that Agrofin can take a lead on and provide the information, um, get our colleagues from India to present on their credit cards that they're using in India and in Pakistan. So we'll be sure to follow up with them. It's a great um, suggestion, and I really appreciate uh, Javier for you uh, making that comment. So without uh, further ado, uh, Omer, I'd just like to thank you so much for your time today. I know, especially during the rollout, um, many of you may have noticed that this is a very busy time for them. They're just starting the rollout of this new product line, um, new card, so that you've been very busy, but very, very gracious to work with us uh, to bring you uh, firsthand knowledge of field, of what it takes to um, develop pilot test and roll this product out on a larger scale. So we'll be looking forward in about 12 months, Omer, for a, an update of how it's all worked out. Um, okay. We'll be sure to make this presentation available as usual on our AgriFins website very shortly after the event. I do apologize for um, to everyone for, um, for the um, feedback that we received on our platform. We have transferred to the WebEx platform, uh, and we are um, trying to get the, the tech, technology kinks out. But please do bear with us. I hope it didn't deter anyone too much. Um, I would just like to ask everyone if you could take a moment to fill out the evaluation that you see appearing on this screen. Um, it's in the, the right-hand side of the screen. Um, it's very important to receive your feedback because it helps us bring you um, more, you know, appropriate uh, themes and topics through this very interesting, uh, you know, banker to banker sharing about lessons of, of doing their day to day business. So please do fill this out. It really d does help us. Lastly, I just okay. like to yeah, also, uh, oh. sorry for my interruption. Uh, I'm not sure if I have, uh, if I will have a chance to thank you all. Okay. Also, uh, it was a really pleasure for me to uh, share my new product, our new product and experiences. Thank you for all. Thank, thank you, Omar. And it is um, I, it's a good, good, great pleasure to hear that. Again, um, we continue to hear very positive feedback from our bankers that, in particular, that, that do the presentations and they get they receive feedback. So do uh, please feel free to contact Omer and uh, continue the dialogue. And from our part at Agrifin, we will do our best to to foment and facilitate that dialogue in, from the banker to banker dialogue and sharing. Um, I oh, just want to let every, everyone know that our upcoming next uh, webinar in, in May will feature two bank, banks from Honduras, um, particularly from Banco Continental uh, and uh, Juan Carlos from Bank Cafe, and they will share how their banks are financing coffee growers in Honduras. So do look out for our adverts on that. 
In the meantime, uh, as usual, if you have any remaining questions, please do send us an email or visit our website. You can contact us at agrifin at worldbank.org. Uh, lastly, once again, on behalf of the entire Agrifin team today, I'd like to just one more time, thank you, Omar, for contributing your knowledge in this space. And the lessons I'm sure garnered from today's webinar will really help um, other bankers around the world that are trying to do similar uh, intervention. So thank you again, and I'd just like to wish everyone a good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Thank you. Okay. It was my pleasure. Thank you, Laurel. Okay. Bye-bye.